Hi, my name is Dr. Supreet and today we will talk about digestive issues. In today's stressful times, especially during the pandemic, people are facing digestive issues such as acidity, bloating, indigestion, gastritis, constipation, etc. in spite of their conscious effort to eat healthy. However, our bodies cannot manage stress and digest food simultaneously. Let's understand why and what can we do about it. The physiological changes of stress such as increased heart rate, fast breathing, increased cortisol and other stress hormone levels including decreased blood supply to the gastrointestinal tract must go away once the stress causing situation is over. But the problem arises when people carry this stress subconsciously throughout the day even while eating or going to bed. The reason being our autonomic nervous system which is involuntary or automatic is subdivided into sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system is active during stress, also known as fight and flight, whereas parasympathetic nervous system is active at rest, also known as rest and digest. Now, this is when all the digestive activities can take place, such as absorption of nutrient, release of digestive hormones, digestive enzymes, and in general, there is increased blood supply to the gastrointestinal tract. But during stress, when the sympathetic nervous system is active, these digestive activities are inhibited. In my practice, clients come with chronic digestive issues and they are constantly dependent on some kind of medication, laxatives, antacids, Ayurveda solution or some temporary solution, struggling for months or even years. However, these might suppress the symptoms temporarily but in the long run they can be very harmful and even cause dependency. People who've been through this know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me tell you something, most of the doctors will ask you about your stress levels if you have chronic digestive issues and sometimes anti-anxiety and anti-stress medicines are also prescribed. Besides, you may not be consciously aware of this stress in your body. However, unless we deal with the core issue, these digestive issues keep coming back. Now let's connect the dots here. If you're eating and watching news on TV, something about the pandemic or maybe a Zoom call, a work call or some intense argument or discussion at home, which nervous system do you think will be active? Fight and flight, right? And which one do you think should be active? Rest and digest. Now that's a problem. Therefore, it is highly recommended that you not only pay attention to what you eat but also to your state of mind and your environment when you're eating. It is scientifically proven that when you eat mindfully in a relaxed environment, your body digests food better, absorbs nutrients efficiently, you eat less and also prevent obesity. Here are some simple things you can do to eat mindfully. Avoid distractions like watching TV, especially the news, talking on the phone, intense discussions while eating. Sit down to eat with a relaxed mind. Put all the worries aside. It takes only 10 to 15 minutes to finish a meal. Be grateful. Say a small prayer if you can before a meal. Meditation in general shifts the nervous system to parasympathetic nervous system dominance and supports the rest and digest state. Abdominal breathing is an excellent way to calm your mind and activate your parasympathetic nervous system but should not be done immediately after meals. Chew each bite for 30 seconds. You will be satiated much sooner and avoid overeating. Lie down on your left side or sit in Vajrasana for 10 minutes after each meal. Do yoga in the morning or on empty stomach. Listen to guided meditation or engage in breath work before meals. A very good way to know if you're relaxed before eating is to observe your breathing. The slower your breathing, the more relaxed you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back with more. Till then, stay healthy, stay super fit.